So we had a fantastic game with the Titans against the Texans. Uh, super fun. Blast to watch. There was a lot of back and forth. Plenty of guys I could make a video on. But I got to make a video on Derrick Henry, who had another one of those games where, you know, when he's on, he's on. There's no stopping him. The guy ended up with 212 yards on 22 carries. He had 9.6 yards per carry. That's really impressive if a quarterback gets 9.6 yards per attempt. A running back getting 9.6 yards per carry in a game is basically unheard of. Uh, a lot of it was some big plays, and let's just get into what went right. We'll start things off with this one. First things first, that's going to happen on this play is that you're going to have your center, who, uh, you know, he has a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and then your left guard and tackle will have a double team. Then they get off the double team and block uh, a linebacker in the area. Um, there are two other, you know, players in the box that could potentially run in and make a play. Uh, but the way that Tennessee is going to kind of counteract this is they have a, a tight end who's going to run up to the, you know, the top of the screen, run to Tannehill's left. Uh, he's going to be blocking on that side. And that's going to kind of convince Houston a little bit that it is going to be a run in that direction. And once this ball is snapped, you're going to notice that while Henry is looking to see where he wants to run through, he it takes he is very patient. That's another thing I like about Henry. He's very patient in looking at the gap he wants to run through. So he takes his time, and by the time he really gets a gap that he likes, you notice that in the black circle, there are three Houston Texans players there and only one Tennessee player there, which is obviously, uh, you know, you don't want that to happen if you're Houston, especially with Derrick Henry, who can run so quickly. Uh, you know, they're not that far out of position. You would kind of expect that they could still run over and potentially make a play on Henry. But what's so underrated about Derrick Henry, everyone talks about his size. What's so underrated about him is how quick he is and how fast he is. People really mostly talk about his size, but that's only a small part. Watch how he is able to just accelerate so well. And then, you know, of course, he falls forward because he is so big. But this, just the fact that he is able to get to that top speed so quickly is so impressive. I also really like this play where what's going to happen at the start is there is a double team. Uh, it, it's a little bit hard to tell. They have zoomed out a little bit right now. But uh, one of the key blocks is going to be a tight end is going to pull. He's going to flash over to block J.J. Watt. That's how this is going to work. Uh, and it's going to work out very well. Like As you see, once it starts, uh, Henry is able to bounce to the outside. He gets past the contained man. Uh, this is good for Tennessee. Uh, what you see is that there are two Houston players who are running over, uh, and you would think that for sure the one on the right would be able to make a tackle, potentially the one on the left as well. Uh, what's going to end up happening is, I love this play. It's, it's not a huge play, but it's just a small thing. Watch how Henry at a top speed is able to stop a little bit and sort of juke a guy out before going down. And that's kind of what Henry does. He's a, he's a highlight reel machine where he just makes so many plays that makes defenders look foolish. Like if I'm a defensive player, he's the last guy I want to play against, not just because he would murder me by being way bigger than me, but also he would just make you look foolish, you know, because he does that to people. Let's talk about his 94-yard rush. Um, it's not very often that you have a guy who runs for a 94-yard run, and that's not even the biggest rush of his career. Uh, but what's going to happen is that this is going to be, uh, it's going to be a, the blocking concept's a little bit going to the top of the screen. The key thing I want you to watch, though, is that nobody is really in charge of blocking the the linebacker in the middle, but, you know, basically, you block him if he comes in your area. That's kind of how this works. Uh, and what you're going to notice is that, so he's going to try to find a gap to clog up. He runs over. He clogs up a gap over the middle. But because of this, now you look over at the top of the screen, there's a pretty good job on the edge of moving guys out of the way, which means there is a hole for Henry to run through. And again, this is kind of what I'm talking about with Henry's vision. Henry didn't start this play thinking that's where he's going to run through. He just, in the moment, sees that there, there's the gap he should run through. So that's what he's going to do. And again, he has the acceleration where he's able to accelerate past Zach Cunningham and cut back to the middle while still at a top speed, which is just insane. So, you know, he's already done that. Uh, now there are plenty of Houston players who should be able to run over and make a tackle, right? I mean, all of these guys are in the area where, I mean, at this point, you could just dive out and make a tackle probably, but they don't really want to do that because they want to make sure they get the tackle, so they're just trying to catch him. The problem is that he's just faster than the Houston linebackers who are chasing after him right now. I'm going to have to play this a little bit fast forwarded to avoid copyright, but um, as you see, he is able to just completely run by everybody and get into the end zone for a touchdown. One last play I want to show, 
I feel like I gotta show the the touchdown, the overtime winner. I mean, how often do you see a team on a third down and goal in overtime where you really want to get the touchdown to win it? Because if you don't, uh, you know, field goal and Houston's offense has been great, they could easily end up with a touchdown or at least a field goal of their own. Uh, but you know what are they gonna do? Well, they're gonna send Ryan Tannehill out wide, uh, and they're gonna have a, a wildcat formation for Henry. And to be honest, this is a great decision because for you know when I was watching this live, I was kind of like, I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they're actually gonna have Henry run the ball himself. He might throw it because let's not forget this guy has thrown a touchdown uh, before uh, in a playoff game. So, you know, that definitely they're not afraid to have him throw the ball in a big spot. On top of this, yes, Ryan Tannehill is now out wide. Ryan Tannehill used to play wide receiver. He's a, you know, he's very athletic. So the fact that you have, you know, these kind of versatile guys, that does a lot for a team. And it does make you feel like, okay, you know, who knows what can happen. So while this is going to end up just being a regular uh, wildcat, you know, it, it wouldn't have been too shocking had they done something different. Um, but what's going to end up happening actually here is what you see on the screen. Uh, the left tackle and left guard just block who's in front of them. You also have a center running out to block a linebacker. But then for the other linebacker in this area, uh, you're going to pull your tight end all the way over. He's in motion uh, pre-snap. He's going to run all the way over, and he's going to block the other linebacker. And so in order to give him time... Henry's going to kind of fake as though he's running up the middle, and then he's going to run to the outside. So watch how, you know, once this ball is snapped, he fakes as though he's going up the middle a little bit, then gets to the outside. At this point, everybody is accounted for. He absolutely has room to get into the end zone, and that's what he's going to do. He just runs forward, powers through, and is able to get in. Just a really good play by Henry. Again, you can say that it's a bold move, and it certainly is, but at the same time, with a guy like Henry, why not? He's someone who you really can trust, and it's not a bad situation either. You know, it's not a bad idea because it's not like everybody knows that you're going to be running the ball like it typically is if a wildcat because you do have those versatile guys on your roster uh you know it was probably going to be a run but even so now you get the extra blocker with taking the quarterback out of the situation so just makes a lot of sense for sure so yeah I mean you know we had seen some you know we'd seen Henry have his moments uh, this season, he still hadn't been quite what he was at the end of last season this year, but this was finally one of those, like, he's not from this planet type games, which is very cool to see. Uh, you know, this Titans team is good. This Titans offense is really tough to watch, or t excuse me, tough to beat. It's not tough to watch. It's fun to watch. Uh, very tough to beat. Uh, and, you know, with Henry running the way he's running, it makes things really easy for Tannehill, and Tannehill had a great day himself. Even, you know, Deshaun Watson had a tremendous day, but it's not going to get talked about as much because they lost. So, a uh, really fun game. What were your thoughts on this one? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.